horse's cart, of course, to deliver the meat, and it was called a cutting cart. So in the morning there were two butchers by the older man, Mr. Clive Evely. He had a horse called Bollocky Bull, and my horse was called Mabel. And uh, we'd load up the carts with meat, and off we'd go, me towards Bendigo and Clive towards Eagle Hall. Now this butcher's cart uh, had a, uh, a false bottom in it, which we could clean every day and the meat would be on that. And as we'd pull up at the lady's house, we'd yell out, whoop, butcher! <laughs> and uh, the lady would come out with a plate and a tea towel over it. So uh, she'd suggest she wanted some stew and steak. Right, oh, I dive lift the latch and dive into the cutting cart, pull out, put it on a, a red gum block, get my knife and steel, sharpen up, and cut a piece of steak off, put it on the plate. Uh, the, the weighing plate first was on a hook and uh, it bounced a little bit. You, a pound was somewhere in between that. <laughs> and uh, She may not pay for it, it will be pay next week. And, uh, Away she'd go back to the kitchen and you move on. I used to go from house to house. I remember one place, a dear old lady would come out and she'd lean on the back of the, the cart. And of course the horse might move sometimes. Nearly tipped her over one day. <laughs> <laughs>